everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is Dean Fowl and I work with Hexagon but I also have my YouTube channel here to help with manufacturing software and um, solutions and answers right so today I want to take a look I've got a old video out there six years old so I want to update it I want to update it with um, SolidWorks 2020 going into my offline rad band software okay so if you've got radan um, or you, you've got press brakes and you want to do some offline bending you have some software most of the time most shops are using SolidWorks or inventor or solid edge or something like that so I've got SolidWorks 2020 here you can see I have my sheet metal part uh, what I want to do is I want to create a bend program for this, right? So I can generally come in here. There used to be an icon somewhere around here. Um, but in 2020, uh, for some reason, I've got to come up here and go to Tools. And then I go to Rad Bend. And then I open in Rad Bend. What that does, it unfolds it, gets information, passes it into Rad Bend, the offline um, bending software. It's actually launching the software and then we'll be able to select what machine we're going to be running right so you can see here's my material um, here's all my different machines okay I'm gonna go with my press brake which is my hexagon press brake and I'm actually gonna just move this over a bit and move this down so you guys can see it a little bit better so here's my two bends on this program here's my uh, layout I've uh, selected my press brake, it loads the upper tool system and lower tool system. Now that I've got it that far, I'm just going to hit um, select material, right? So select material, I'm just going to do uh, stainless, uh, let's do steel, hit OK. Yep, I get that message because I have no preferred tool set up for this, um, so that's no problem. I'm just going to hit automatic and let the software do its thing. What that has done, it's created, loaded my tools and assigned them to the um, setup here. And you can see I can rotate this around. And there's my lower tool, upper tool. If I hover over here, you can see what kind of tools I'm using. Now, um, I can, since I've done automatic, I you can sequence it but I'm just doing automatic and do all those steps in one and then I just come and simulate to make sure I've got no errors at the machine and you can see there we go it bent that part up and you can see we can actually rotate this press brake around and we could see the different views in there the zoom in uh, let's simulate that again Right, you can see there's the first bend, second bend, and then I compile the program and send that program out to the machine. Right, so part three, maybe I want to do a hundred of those on that machine, give it some notes, order notes, hit OK, and we're done. And then I save that file, and we should be good. Okay. Um, now, when I come out of here, <coughs> That, that program's done, you do your setup sheet, you're all good to go. But when you come back in here, you can usually come up here and you can update the flat pattern based on the uh, metadata, okay? So that's, that's good information there. Hey, that was just a quick video. Nothing's too strenuous, we'll get into more of it later on. Um, but have a great day and thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the dislike button or subscribe. Have a great day.